In this series, I will be pack battling a fellow YouTuber. Each player will have $100 to spend on 12 packs of their choice. The total value will be tallied up and the person with the most value at the end wins. But here's the twist. Each player spins a wheel at the beginning of each round to help or hurt their chances at winning. Will the wheel cause pack opening mayhem? Find out now on this episode of Battle Wheel. All right, for Battle Wheel Episode 2, I gathered 12 somewhat unique packs. I mean, they're fairly new for the most part. We only have a $100 budget, so here's what everything costs. I'm going to try to remember this. Maximum Gold Eldorado. This cost me $5. Then we have a Chaos Impact First Edition. This could pull the IP Mask Arena Starlight Rare, which is kind of why we got it. Then we got two Battles of Chaos that were $5 each. These have, of course, the Dark Magician Potential, the Starlight Potential. And then there's some pretty good cards like Guardian Chimera still in there. So there's a lot of decent value in this set still. Not everything has been, like, killed with reprints yet. So very nice one to open up. Then we have three packs of Mega Pack 2022. These surprisingly only cost six bucks each. So they're about, it's a full 10 for 18 bucks. Got some good value to potentially pull out of there. Then I got three Mega Pack Legendary Collection 2. We know this is some of the best value you can open up. In Yu-Gi-Oh! I've done many videos on this. And in Battle Wheel number one, I only did one of these packs because they were worth a little bit more back then. But now this makes the value even better, even though some things have been reprinted recently. And finally, I'm finishing with two Legendary Collection 25th packs. This is five and this was $6. That round out to a perfect perfect $100. Uh, not necessarily crazy value in these, but we could have some awesome old school pulls that'll make this a really fun battle. Here are the packs that I chose. I went for around $100, so I have them all right in here, and let's see which ones I have, and I'll explain why I chose them and all that too. So I try to go for a good variety, basically. Some stuff that might help us out a little bit, and kind of a little bit crazier stuff. Like, for example, Tactical Masters, I thought this set would be fun because uh, the collector rares are really nice, so, you know, one of those I feel like would be almost a win, getting like Runic or something. Genesis Impact, a little bit tougher to find these days, another one that we can get collector rares too, so that's kind of my goal. I feel like if I get a collector's rare, I'm gonna win. So that's, that's kind of what I'm betting on, but doesn't mean it's gonna work out that way either. Even one of Secret Slayers, this pack has gotten way tougher to find these days, so I figured it would be fun to see what we can get from it. Another, uh, let's see, Tactical Masters here. Then High Speed Riders. This set's getting a lot harder to find too, so I thought that would, would be pretty fun, I think. Yeah, here's the other one. I'll say, I thought I had two of them. But yeah, with the Red Dragon stuff coming out soon with the Structure Deck and all that as well, this set's still really nice. I do wish I had Collector's Rares though. Dual Overload, which is just a fun set that everything's holographic and there's some, just some really good stuff in it. I mean, you have Phantasmic right in the front. World Superstars, again, another older set that I really like. I enjoyed opening this one up a lot back in the day. And we have a chance of getting, what was it, the Magician of Black and the Dragon of White, I believe were their names. Basically, they were prize cards and they were actually in this set. So, pretty cool, or at least the replicas, I should say, were in this. So, getting one of those would be a score. And last but not least, again, I kind of went for the gamble because I'm opening up two of Tournament Pack 21. So I got both of these actually from a friend. I bought them from him. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping for the best. I get an Ultimate Rare, that could be a win. But then again, it could always go the opposite as well. So let's hope for the best. Welcome back to Battle Wheel Episode 2. It's been a while since the first episode. I know, but go check it out if you haven't seen it. Today, we have a very special guest, someone that I've wanted to have on the channel for quite a while, Cyber Knight. How are you doing, Cyber Knight? I'm doing great. I, I can't wait to see how I do on this. Hopefully we get some good pools and uh, kick butt. Well, I had to get another uh, old school Yu-Gi-Oh pack opener on the channel. So I think it should be a pretty intense battle. I've made some adjustments to the wheel as well that we're going to talk about in just a second. But before we do that, uh, you think you're going to win or what are you feeling? I feel like I went for a high risk good reward kind of thing on my packs. That's okay. what I'm hoping, but uh, it could go either way. I never know if the harder of the cards is with me or not. It just depends. All right, Cyber Knight, you are the guest, so I'm going to let you spin the wheel first and see what you can get. Let's see. Hopefully something good. Hold up. Hope you guys are enjoying the video, but we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Cyberstorm Access Booster Box. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about Battle Wheel Episode 2 down below, and let's get back to the video. Some of them, these might not be relevant, so you might get lucky and something not matter, or you'll get something good we'll have to find out here's the first wheel spin here we go oh this is a good start for you it looks like you're gonna land on the protection so you're gonna have protection against something negative coming up well good that, that's probably the best thing to start out with then that honestly might be the best roll so no matter what I roll, you're going to have that in your back pocket. You can use that at any point during the video. So if you want to use it early, late, whatever you want to do. Okay, sounds good. All right, my chance. Here we go. I'd like a protection, please. Come on, hand it over. <laughs> oh, oh, no. 
<laughs> this one's terrible. No one's behind right now. So this yeah. does nothing to start off. All right, okay, good start for you. Cyber Knight, would you like to go first or you want me to go first? Up to you. Uh, Sure, I'll go first. Okay, go for it. Let's see what you can get. I'll start off a little bit big, I guess, and we'll go with this OTS 21. All right, that's a good pack. See if we can get an ultimate rare right off the bat. I don't know, heart of the cards, help me out here. All right, we have Galaxy Expedition, Photon Sanctuary, hey, that's not bad. And, ah, uh, Terra Lint's, uh, Merely? All right, you got a tier limit super. Okay, I'm not feeling too bad after that. I didn't get an ultimate rare right off the bat. That would have been tough. Oh man, <laughs> it would have been a bit crazy, but I'll take it. That's not bad. All right, I want to start off strong and maybe take a lead here. So I'm going to go with a 2022 10 of the Pharaoh Gods pack. So there's a lot of good potential in here. A lot of good cards, you know, supers, ultras, you know, parallel secret rares, just prismatic, whatever you want to call them. There's a lot of different options for potentially pulling a $1 card, which is all we need for the lead right now. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go for. We've got a Magnificent Magic E. We've got the Hidden Springs. B Trooper Scale Bomber. Pretty good card, but probably not a dollar. We have Fairy Archer, Rocky Caliber. Also, I want to mention in these big packs, we might miss a random combo that's a dollar. I'm going to try not to. There's a good chance that happens, so don't don't be mad at us if we do. We have a rare. We have a claw. A Clob, the Magic East Sky Blaster. A Clobicus, maybe? I don't know. Slower Swallow, the super rare. Okay. Sumrine Crossbreed, another super. Breath of Acclamation. I don't think any of these are money. We have a Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. We're talking old school here, but a little bit of a retrain. Let's see if we can get a nice secret. Greater Polymerization. I don't think that one's too great, uh, but it is a greater polymerization, so technically, I guess. Uh, that might have been a dud for the Mad uh, Mega Pack 2022. I'm going to have to check. So next up, uh, maybe we want to save that OTS pack. So let's go with another one. I, again, I felt like I went with high risk stuff. Tactical Masters. I want to see if I can get something really cool. Maybe like a Collector Rare, Runic, something like that. Runic Dispelling. Then Valiance, uh, Mad uh, Marquise. Valiance Dominator. Oh, I think we might have something. Book of Eclipse. Uh oh. And oh, oh, so close oh. to being the better one. <laughs> I never get the green one. It's always the pink one. Uh, yeah, All we right. have uh, Ariadne, uh, the uh, uh, Library Servant. Thank goodness it wasn't Ariana. That would have been a lot more rough, for sure. <laughs> and Lilith, an Invader of Darkness as well. Dang, I always get her, but... She's not too bad though either. At least I feel like, I think I'm on the board maybe with that. You did get on the board. That was a dollar 19. So we're rounding it down to a dollar just for, you know, easement's sake, mm -hmm. but you are on to, on the board. I'm still looking for mine. I don't think I actually hit anything on mine. So I think you're up one nothing right now. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, my second pack. I'm down one nothing. I thought I would have a chance there. I think, okay, I'm gonna go with the big gun. I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to catch up. I'm gonna go with Legendary Collection to the Dual Academy years. This is my highest value pack. I got a couple of these. Let's see if I can pull something big to really give me a lead here. I think you can do like two from the back here. There's some big commons in here that I gotta look out for. We have Hero Kid, Success Probability Zero. Okay, we got the Neospatian Dark Panther. Turn of the Six Samurai. Elemental Hero Woodsman. I gotta look, those Elemental Heroes are often as supers like a dollar or two. So I gotta look for that one. Gladiator Beast Secutor. I don't think it's one of the best secrets, but it is a secret. Ice Queen, I think it's a bad one as well. No, got a bubble shovel. This is not going well. Skyscraper. I don't think we hit really much of anything in that. We might have, we probably hit a dollar with the Woodsman or the Secutor, but I'm about to check. So eee, a bad Legendary Collection 2 pack. They can be really good. All right, the Gladiator Beast Secutor is $1.79. So we get to round it up to $2. So I take Take a two to one lead. Yeah, we're kind of killing it right now with the pulls. These pulls are insane. I'm going to go for something where I feel like could be a risk, but I I feel like there's something good in this one. Dual Overload. Oh, okay. I like this set. I love the art just of the packs even, so. The reprint sets have good potential on them. Ooh, well, there we go. We got Lib. Okay. Jealous. Hysteric Sign. Not bad. Cybernetic Overflow. Speedroid Hexasaucer. Ew, Digusto Emerald. I don't know if that's good these days, but I remember back in the day it was. Okay, so it looks like you just took the lead with that lib. That is a $1.83 card, so round up to two. You're up three to two. I just need $2 out of here. Come on, 2022 <laughs> 10 mega pack thing. You could do this. Hard to the cards. I believe in you. Come on, all we need is $2. We have Destiny Hero Denier. Starmine, we've got the Steel Star Regulator. Floundries and the Dreaming Town. We got the Sacred Tree. Floundries and the Unexplored Winds. We have Binary Blader, super rare. Trap Tricks, Calaria. If I'd gotten this a few like months ago when this first came out, maybe this was a dollar with the structure deck and everything. We have Soul Energy Max Ultra. Abyss Keeper, this is not feeling good. This has got to be a good secret. Come on. 
Oh, a ghost bell and haunted mansion. Oh. Let's go. That's got to be $2, right? I hope it's not. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> <leave> it. <laughs> All right, we'll find out. We'll find out. I'm going to check on this ghost bell. This has to be $2 as a prismatic secret. It looks incredible. Oh, wow. You can't make this up. This thing is $1.98. It's literally $2. So it's the perfect amount for me to go up four to three and take round one. But I had the advantage of going second that time. We're going to be swapping that around. So you get to go second next time and pick like the best possible pack to win on the last pack. So that advantage is coming for you in round two. I'll take round one of four to three plus my $5 bonus. And we're back to the wheel. All right. Since you were the loser cyber Knight of that round, I will let you pick if you want to go first or second on the wheel. I'll go second. Time to spin for the second round, the fourth overall pack. Let's see what I can get here. Give me something good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> You've got protect. Oh, I'll take that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not the reverse. Oh, no. It's this negative value for me. Okay. I got to pick my worst possible pack here. Okay. Looking good for you because I'm about to lose some points potentially. Your turn to spin. Let's see what you can get. Hopefully better than that. And no, you know, for you. Here we go. Will you get something? At oh, no. Not another protection. Surely not. No. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Ha <laughs> 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 Two protections and I'm going negative? I need one of those. I'm not doing well in the packs, but the wheel likes me, so I'll take it. <laughs> All right, I have to go first because I just won. I only have a $1 lead, so I'm not feeling too good. I mean, technically it's six with the bonuses at the end, but it's not that high. So, okay, I might even end up in the negative if I pull something too good. I need to open something like... How, this is probably a good time to open this Chaos Impact pack. What if I pulled an IP Masquerina though? Went negative like a thousand dollars. That'd be really bad. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm gonna pull. This is my strategy. Pull a negative. Pull a thousand dollar card. Go negative, and then swap it to you somehow with two protections. Okay. All right. Chaos Impact. No, no, no. That's that's just dumb. I'm gonna open this. Uh, I'm gonna open this Metal Raiders pack because like there's a good chance that there's nothing in here. Metal Raiders 25th anniversary. So. Pretty, pretty new pack, just came out, coming out with the boxes soon. Probably, you know, it's already come out when you actually see this. Here we go. Come on, give us a rare. We have Baby Dragon. Let's go. Blast Juggler. Give us that Petite Moth. We got, the, ooh, the Larva Moth, the cousin of the Moth. We have Pale Beast Rux in 34, the Mystic Lamp, Big Eye, Oguchi. All right, cool. We have a Robin Goblin. That's the wheel versus me. And we have Armored Lizard. Let's go. We got nothing. So we're not losing any points. That's good. But I also got nothing. So I also gained no points. Since we've had different waifu cards lately, maybe I'll get something good from Genesis Impact. Get a life twin or something. All right. Good luck, but not too much luck. Born from Draconis. Severus Gadget. Evil Twin Present. Do we? I, I think this might be a good sign. Uh, Drytron Eclipse. Invoked. Let's see, perform mage, damage juggler, and ah, uh, uh, Drytron uh, Alpha Thunban, which might be a fairly decent one. That card is 45 cents, so. Ah. I'm going to go with Battles of Chaos. I haven't done one of these yet. Can we get that Dark Magician and a Starlight Rare in the same pack? Maybe. Who knows? Probably not. Little pack trick. Let's see if we can pull some. We have a uh, top share. We have Dogmatic Cabre. Smile Potion. Doll Monster Bear Bear. We have Noru, Ares, the Vernal Dragon. We have the Opal Head, Monster Rebirth, and oh, a super rare Nordic Relic, and no Dark Magician. Okay, back to you. It's been a zero, zero, zero round so far. How about High Speed Riders? Red Dragon support's coming, so that's what I'm hoping right here. Might get a little boost from that. We got Hush Psychic Cleric, uh, Synchron Resonator, that's pretty decent. Future Glow. Red Dragon Arching, okay, I feel like that's Ooh. a sign. Uh, Speed Droid Racer Ring, and. Ooh, Stardust Spark Dragon. That might Ooh. be decent. Is that a super? Yeah, that yeah. might be good. I know the like Mongus uh, Cider Dragons are in this. It's like an Overload, Vice Dragon, and Frame Gear Alpha. Okay, this thing's only 26 cents, so nothing too crazy there. I think it it's in dual uh dual devastator, I mean. So it comes as a foil in there. Mm. So I bet that kills the value because there's it's so easy to get out of that set. Yeah, true. Dang, I thought I had something there. I'm gonna go with my Legendary Collection 2-pack. This has to have value in it, right? It's gotta have something. Here we go. Can't be as, I mean, the last one was terrible and it was still enough to win us the last round, just barely. Let's see if we can get something better. We have Elemental Hero Heat, Hero Signal. We have Storm Neos. I think this is a money common. It's like two bucks, so that's good. Neospatian Air Hummingbird, looking good. Elements over here once been again. No, not you, not you. Secret rare. Oh, an alt art spark man. I know that one's up there. That might be like a $9 card or something. That's looking good. 
and a defensive tactics, which I always pull in Gladiator's Assault. Now we're getting in Legendary Collection 2. That one is not worth anything. So two good cards out of there. I think we have a potential to have our best round yet. So Storm Neos is a $7 common. Oh my goodness. That is a huge pull for us. And then we got Sparkman, which is also pretty decent. Sparkman is also $7. So that was a $14 pack. Definitely the best pack we've had yet. Hopefully uh, it's enough to win this round. Which one of you can save me here? You know what, I want to go with something that's, eh, I feel like people will be excited to see. How about World Superstars? Ooh. If I get like the Dragon of White or a Magician of Black or something too. Those would win you for sure. If you pull one of those, I think you would definitely beat $14. Oh, we got Star Seraph Scepter. That's a pretty good card. Oh, I guess the secret is right at the front, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Number 18, Guard Go, Dodo -do Draw, and Boxer. So, that's kind of cool. Scepter might be okay. It's pretty decent, like, for rank four decks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was a rough round besides my one pack. We went five of our six packs had nothing in them. So, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, time to spin again. Um, I'm scared to spin something bad. So, here we go. Come on, you got two protections. So, even, like, a swap isn't too scary for you. Uh, oh, we got a fun one. Oh boy. We got the wager. Okay, so my total value that I have at the moment is $18. So I'm able to wager at any point over the next six rounds. I can wager on one of our openings. So let's say I need to, we get to round nine and I wanna, I wanna, you know, wager the next two packs. I can do that as many dollars as I have or, you know, any number I wanna do. So I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket for the future. That sounds like a pretty scary one if it if it works right. Or, or I could lose everything. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the fun part. All right, your turn. Let's see what you can roll. You got two protections so far. You probably want something else this uh, time. I'll take a third one. <laughs> Oh, are you oh, serious? I might. <laughs> what in the world? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate defense over here. <laughs> You're like a Millennium Shield as a person or something. This is insane. At least the wheel likes me. I'm a pack stoke, but the wheel does. <laughs> if you get the lead, there's no way I'm coming back. Like, I can't do anything. You're just going to protect everything. <laughs> the ultimate negates over here. To start off this round strong, I'm going to go with a maximum gold El Dorado pack. See if we can pull some good gold rares. All right, we have a... That is a... The Phantom... Knights of Ancient Cloak, Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai Link Monster. I've got a Numeron Chaos Ritual Gold Rare. I don't think that's too crazy. Baby Source, awesome card for dinos, but probably not too expensive. Ooh, and a Raigeki. Is that a dollar? I don't know. Raigeki Gold Rare is pretty good. Then a Numeron Wall and a number one Numeron Gate. I think a Raigeki could be worth a dollar, but it's a Gold Rare. You know, those are kind of weird sometimes, so... Maybe we got some value. Oh, there's one guy that listed for 80 cents, but everyone else is at a dollar 60. Come on, man, he ruined it. No points for me on that round. Uh, you know what, I want to try this one out. Secret Slayers. I like this set, Ooh. so. Eldritch? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, it kind of goes with yours in a way too. That would be a big one. That still has not had like a non-gold reprint. Let's see, Emancipator Crystal. Let's see, Yuna Zombie. I like this card. Fair enough. Fertilizer. Doki Doki and ooh, Conquistador of the Golden Land. That might be decent. Okay, that thing is a dollar and two cents. So you just hit a dollar. Very solid. You're officially up on this round. Finally, some some good luck going. I'm gonna do the chaos impact here. I'm gonna. This is a very high risk, high reward one. Not a lot of value cards in here except the very high like value ones. Or IP as a ultra would be nice. We have the World Legacy World Key, Marinsa's Battle Ocean, Infinitrack Brutal Dozer, the Prime Mineral Manstrong. The Abomination Chamber of the Unchained. Okay. DD Patrol Plane. And... Oh, it's a Super Dream Mirror. Hypnagogia. Okay, that is definitely not going to be a dollar. So I'm still down after two packs and you've only opened one. Uh, we'll see. It, it can be anyone's game. We've seen that plenty. All right, your turn. Can you solidify this lead? I'll go with kind of the odd one out here and go with the Tactical Master since that's the only one I have a double of right now. Makes sense. We'll see. We'll see if we get the green one this time. The green sister. Please no. Quick booster. Uh-oh. Runic Smithing Storm and uh, Archings Ghastly Glitch. So... Oh. Not a bad card, but I don't think it's very good for this. Eclipse, Malice, Cyclone's pretty decent, and Imperial Iron Wall. Dang, could've gave me a Drone Lockbird. I'm gonna go with the 2022 Ten of the Pharaoh Gods and try to get $2 out of this. It did it before with the Ghost Bell. Let's see if we can do it again. I don't know any pack trick here, so we're just gonna go through it. Ice Jade. Ad Libitum of Despia. Yamorimori. We have the Cordius, the Trifastic Dealmon. Okay, that is a lot of words right there. We're just going to keep going. Flunderies. Flunderies and Bolin. 
We have Live Twin Lilla Treat, super. We have an Ice Drade Tremora, super. Machina Uncle Sparse with a ding at the top. That thing got beat up. Okay, Ultra Rare. Dogmatica Genesis. And finally, a Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Ooh, that seems like it could be good. Prismatic Secret. I'm going to check. We'll find out. I uh, Who knows? It's hand trappy, so it kind of was against your wish. Yeah. The verified. So this is a close one because there's non-verified listings at $1.40, which would make it a dollar. But the lowest verified is $2. So I take the lead two to one. But... You've got a chance mm -hmm. with one more pack to win this thing. It's a tough choice. It's what tough. will you select to guarantee, or at least best you can, to take the lead here? For some reason, I'm feeling like High Speed Riders is going to do it. Okay, so okay. I'm going to listen, see what happens here. Heart of the cards. One of the best cards ever, MST. Red Dragon Archfiend. Hey, that's not bad. Synchro Cracker. Dark Resonator. Red Carpet. Oh, it's a Synchro. Please. Ooh, that's actually a secret rare. Uh, Whoa. high speed red Shenbara. Okay. That's, that's a good synchro. Okay. I, I I don't know value wise, but that's a good synchro. Resonator call, an alpha, and a Serene. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is going to be close. The high speed one is $1.71, rounding Ooh. it up to two, and he pulls out the victory <sighs> in the last pack. Wow, what a move right there with this. You had the feeling about high speed riders, and you were right. Man, I didn't want to go quietly into the night. I got to win one of these rounds. <laughs> there we go. That was big. That turned it around because that gives you a five extra bonus. You're back in this for the final round. Awesome. And, and it's a card I really like, too, so double win. All right, first we're going to roll for Cyber Knight. Let's see what he gets. Right, something good. Will it be good? Oh no! Ooh. Double time! He gets to double his next pack! Oh, oh no! You better pick a good one for that next pack. I need something good now because you've got two protections. You've got double time. This could be a, a major comeback by, I think I had by you. I three protections, so. don't I? You did get three protections, yeah. didn't you? Never mind, three protect. Yeah, there's yeah. no way I'm getting, I'm, I'm breaking through that You can't steal one of my protections. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my wager at some point. What am I gonna get? Oh, front runner. Ooh. Let's go, I needed that. I guess how we're gonna use protections is, it is like a negate. So if you want to stop me from doing this, so let's say I, if I'm gonna use front runner, I will gain $14 to my total. So would you like to use your protection to negate me from going up to 34 uh, total? I, I guess I have to, so yes. I mean, you've got three of them, yeah. so there's no reason not to. So Blossoms for once. <laughs> Smart move. Um, now I will not be up by as much as I would have been had you not had a protection. So well, well done. Good use. You get to go first here. All right. And do I choose which one doubled or is it just my first one? You're going to double this pack. So you pick whatever pack you think has the best chance on this number 10 pack. I kind of want to go big. It might not be the smart move, but I want to go for the big move. You're going for least. the collector rare or the yeah. ulti? Yeah, I'm going for the ulti. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. If you pull an ulti here, it's probably no. over at that point. I want to make it interesting, at least for the viewers on this. So this is this might be dumb. But, you know, let's Come see. On. So first off, Mud Dragon on Swamp, which I, that might be pretty decent. I don't know. Uh, a Maze Attraction and... Oh, it's her oh, again! Another Merly! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the same guard! Oh, at least oh, we saw no. different. Oh. The good side is, what did I say this was valued at? Because if it doubles to a dollar, you could still count it. Let's see. That might? I don't know. No, the lowest verified is 66 cents, so it does double to over a dollar. So you do get a dollar. You okay. didn't completely miss on that. Okay. I don't feel too bad. All right, my turn. I think since you, I think now's the time for LOB because it's probably the most high rolly pack I have. Let's go with Legend of Blue Eyes, the 25th anniversary. Let's see if I can pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon right here. That'd be pretty exciting. I'd be down for it. Here we go. And we're numero dos, Kagamusha of the Blue Flame, Basic Insect, Electro Whip, Red Medicine, Laser Cannon Armor. We have a Mystical Moon a flower wolf and we have a so good all oh. right strike out for ruxin you're still up one nothing with two to go all right i gotta admit i was kind of rooting for a red ass there but <laughs> <laughs> you're rooting against yourself you're like come on that'd be sick at the end of the day you gotta root for the the cool hollows i mean <laughs> that's true i mean it just makes the video more exciting yeah so hmm i don't know this is kind of a tough choice um Eating, eating. Oh, okay, I'll just go Genesis Impact. <laughs> we'll okay, see. okay. 
Before you open this, I think I'm gonna use my wager at this point. Okay. I'm gonna wager all 20 of my dollars that I win this, this pack. You okay. have $7 to wager. How much would you like to wager? Anywhere from zero to seven. You don't even have to wager if you don't want. I don't think I'm gonna wager anything because I think that's the smart move. That's probably the smart move. I'm going all in, not because it's smart, but because it's fun. So that's what I'm gonna there do. There you go. See, <laughs> I'm, I'm teaching you bad things here. <laughs> yeah, ba bad <laughs> ideas. Your turn. Yeah. All right, Genesis Impact. If this has a collector rare, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, I'm gonna be very happy because I also get a collector rare. So let's see. Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, got one of the Drytrons, Gamma. Drytron Zeta that time. Engraver of the Mark, which is pretty cool. Uh, Drytron Meteor Shower. Majestus uh, Vitra, Vitora, and... Okay, I was I thought I was a little bit one more ahead there. Invoked, and... Ah, oh, Incantation oh. Chalice Slime. You got the ice cream. Yeah. I, I don't want to know what flavor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that means that I cannot lose here. But if if I get zero, then nothing will happen. It'll just it'll just be at zero. But if I get one dollar, I can double my money here. Oof. I'm gonna open my legendary collection two pack because this is my most high value pack. Will it pull me one dollar? That's all I need here. We can go way ahead. Come on, woodsman. Yeah, no woodsman, please. <laughs> Give us something good. We have the uh, rainbow path. Okay, destiny hero, Captain Tenacious. DD Survivor. We have a Neos Force. A DD Crow? That could be enough. Maybe. It's had reprints recently, so it might not be a dollar. Okay, next up. Oh, a Neos Alias Secret Rare. That might be borderline as well. This is gonna be interesting. And an Ultra Cyber Phoenix. Wow, there might this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if any of those made it or not. Yeah, that's a close one. I'm not sure. DD Crow reprint. Did it kill me? It looks like there is an 83 cent DD Crow, so it's not enough. It's gonna come down to the Neos Alias. Come Ooh. on. Neos Alias Legendary Collection 2. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Has it gone up? It went up. Oh no. How did it go up? It's $2.47. Uh -huh. I can get $2. Let's go. <laughs> I think this used to be a lot cheaper. This thing went up a little bit. All wow. right. That is beautiful for me. I want to recount. He bought some during this video. That's <laughs> definitely what happened. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I bought all the, the Neo Salias to make it go up. I'm up 42 to 7. Then you have to factor in the rounds. Technically, it'd be 52 to 12. So you need like a $40 card plus here. So it basically has to be a collector, I believe, out of this set. We'll see. There are some collector rares that could win it for you. All right, heart of the cards. I need you now more than ever. Bear Blocker, Scion. Oh no, oh, a Runic no. Gold Droplet. Wah, wah, Trip Trip, wah. Fullest Alliance, Labyrinth Archfiend, and ah, uh, Runic Lord. Not even a Droll Muckbird again, come on. Come on. <laughs> like, Cyber Knight doesn't get hand traps. That's just what happens. Yeah, it's just what happens. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just, I'm just like, uh, I'm just free rolling at this point. Yeah, victory lap. Let's just pull a Starlight or a Dark Magician real quick out of this Battles of Chaos pack and see what can happen. Here we go, final pack, Mad Hacker. We got the Serpent Strike, the Brute, Darton, the Mechanical Monstrosity, Leaf Place, Place, End of the Line with the Pot of Greed, the Onibimaru, Soul Sweeper, Oh, a white relic of Dogmatica Super and another common. So good thing I didn't need anything there or I would have lost. Okay, that was an intense battle. Nothing insane was pulled, but it was fun to revisit the battle wheel. Cyber Knight, thank you so much for coming on. How do you feel? Uh, I feel like I did okay. At least I got some cards I like. And uh, yeah, I'll just have to get my revenge at some point though. So remember that. Uh, I will come back and and hopefully be able to win the next round. Okay, we will definitely see you again at some point and maybe in a different format, who knows? Maybe even in person one day, we'll do some sort of opening, who knows? You guys that. will have to see. Here is the final tally of everything that we went through. So it was a pretty intense battle, but uh, that wager really turned it around. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out Cyber Knight's channel. I'll have him linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Ruxin if you haven't already. I mean, he he opens up all kinds of awesome stuff on his channel and subscribe to me. I do a lot of openings, Japanese openings and English ones. And yeah, I'm hoping we can do a lot more videos together because yeah, love his content. So thanks for watching. Shout out to Tone Fosho, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Macycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, Shazam Yusuf, aka Cobra Kai, Orgad Levin, and Intai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.